today's video is a collective haul of items that you can pick up from the Prada outlet store. So a lot of times these big design houses will have a outlet store in which they sell outlet specific items and you can pick up these items at like 50 to 70% off of their retail or their regular store items. And a lot of times the silhouettes are very similar. They're not usually the same design but uh, they do still carry the brand name's logo and then they're still made in very good material as well. I go in depth in like all of the difference between the outlet store and like the regular boutique in my Gucci video. So if you guys want to take a look at that, I'll try to link it up here. But if not, let's get started with today's video, which is a collective haul of items. Not only mine, I actually got a lot of these from my friends and, our fam and my family. So I tried to collect everything just so that I could show you guys some of the best bag silhouettes that are really, really good for picking up in an outlet store. So let's start with bag number one, which is a tote bag. So this Prada tote has been around for, I don't know, it's been around for an extremely long time because I remember that my sister was using this bag in college and it is definitely a workhorse. So I like a bag like this because it fits even my laptop. A lot of people uh, go with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull as their first designer handbag, but for me, I would say that I prefer a bag like this simply because it does have a zipper at the top part. And this bag at the same time is the same size as the Neverfull, so it can carry quite a bit. Uh, I can put my laptop in here, I put my books in here. So anytime that I really need a very big bag to carry everything that I need for work, uh, I would use a bag like this. It's got this really cute bag tag detail as well. And then this one is quite nice because I think they updated it recently to add in another strap. So they have like the D-rings on both sides. And then uh, this one does come with a strap as well. So this bag does also come with a long adjustable shoulder strap, although it is a little bit thin for this bag. Uh, although the way that I tend to use this bag is really just hold it by the, the handles right here because I find that this is the most comfortable way to wear this bag. And since it is a big bag and you tend to load it up with a lot of stuff, um, usually it is just too heavy to use with a strap, but I guess it's convenient if for instance, um, you did want to be hands-free that they do give you a strap option. So that's something that is new about this handbag. The second bag that I have is a dome-shaped Prada bag and I really like the silhouette of this one. I think it looks very classy, although right now it looks a little bit like scrunched up, I guess because it's been stored in the closet for a little while. But if you do have stuff on the inside or if you do use it with an organizer, this is a really, really beautiful shape. And the thing about um, Prada nylon is that it is just so durable. So for every day, I usually like to go with a nylon bag just so that I'm not worrying so much about scratching the leather or anything. So I do prefer their Tessudo nylon material. And this one is in a deep navy blue color with gold hardware. So this one has two zippers and the reason why I really like this handbag is because you can really really open it up wide and that really gives you like access to see everything on the inside of your handbag. And uh, just for reference, let me give you the, the reference number. So all of the Prada bags, even if they come from the outlet store, they do have an authenticity card. This one has, yeah, right here. So this one is um, 1BB013. I wish Prada would actually have names for their bags, but unfortunately they, they don't name it except with just using numbers and letters, which is very, very confusing. Anyways, this one also has a good handle drop, so you can wear it on your shoulder if you wanted to wear it this way. Although the base is uh, a little bit wide, so it can get a little bit uncomfortable uh, since it hits you right at the rib part. And then to the bottom part, it is all leather and then it has four feet. 
so very nice because this is uh, in their Sapiano leather which is very very easy to wipe down and quite durable as well so this is another handbag that I really like from them next handbag is a all leather hobo bag and this one I think is a pretty good price for a leather handbag I, I can't remember the exact price but I don't think it was over 700 or I think maybe uh, around 800 euros so this one was actually pretty good uh, price especially for those who really like the canvas strap like I know this is very very popular right now and even uh, I mean Gucci is the one that has really been doing a lot of this canvas strap uh, but it is very very comfortable so for those of you who like like an all leather handbag this one is a good choice I would probably use it with the bag organizers just to sort of keep its shape like you can see this one is uh since this is not i'm not so sure what leather this is let me just check on the tag one second so this bag is called 1bc052 and the material is vitello phoenix i think so and then it is in the color black with the canvas strap and the canvas strap is adjustable in length it's not too long so it fits okay on me as a crossbody bag but for uh, if, if you are a little bit taller you might have some problem wearing this bag or adjusting the length or just really just wearing it more as just a shoulder bag rather than a crossbody so the inside of this bag is pretty spacious it has one slip pocket which has like a magnet on it just so that you don't lose anything that you put into the slip pocket and yeah that's very convenient and then it also has a zippered compartment back here as well so the slip pocket is lined in leather and then the rest of the bag is in their sort of nylon material with the Prada logo so very very nicely done I think this is the most expensive bag out of all of the ones that I'm showing you right here so this one was a bit um, pricier but at the same time I still think that it's pretty much it's a pretty good price for something that is fully in leather and then the last bag that I have is actually the one that I did a recent video about and it is in their Tessudo Gofre material which is this sort of ruffled texture and this one is my personal bag so this one is the one that I love the most it actually reminds me a lot of the Prada double zip tote which was super super popular for a long while and I like this because it's just so easy to get in and out your stuff it has the perfect number of compartments it's got one uh, two compartments and then it has a middle zippered area where you can keep your wallet or your credit cards and stuff and then you can also open it up at the sides just so that it's easier to really d get into your stuff but at the same time you can also close it if you want it to be a little bit more secure and then I've also put mine with just a third party strap just so that the strap is a little bit uh, easier it's a bit wider than the original strap and it just feels a lot more comfortable wearing it this way so I really love the size of this handbag and I have a full review on it uh, I will also try to link it in the description box uh, either up here or down below so check that out if you are interested in this particular handbag and if I'm not mistaken, I got this bag for less than 600 euro. So those are the four Prada items that I have for you in today's video. I also wanted to show you guys the dust bag. So when you get from the Prada outlet store, the dust bag is a little bit different. It's not like the very thick cotton dust bag that we are used to from Prada. This one is a lot thinner and it's just sort of like the echo bag type of material. So yeah, just in case you do guys, uh, you do 
buy from, for instance, a reseller or something. These bags are actually very, very popular in the resale market simply because I think it's just at a cheaper price point. And also they are a little bit harder to get your hands on since not every country has a Prada outlet store. And of course, even if you do have a Prada outlet store in your country, it's usually outside of the city. For me, the usual Prada outlet store that I go to is Hong Kong. I recently discovered that they have a new one as well in Malaysia. So I haven't gone to that one, but I am excited to try that next time. And yeah, I think though most of the items that you find is basically the same from every single outfit store. But of course, if you do get in Europe, it's a little bit cheaper. So that's why I like picking up uh, all of my Prada outlet store items in a European country. And of course, you also get back the tax refund as well, which uh, really, really helps bring down the price. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below which one of these is your favorite handbag. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye!